Hello, this is Eric of NotBios Tech Interviews, and welcome to my review of the GQ M30 powered speakers. These are USB 2.0 and also work with Bluetooth. Now, this comes with a user manual, so you know how to set your device up and what the buttons do. But let's look at the speakers themselves. On the bottom of these speakers, we see we have little rubber feet to stop it from sliding around your desk, as can be seen. We also have our press buttons right here. And this will allow us to change our settings. We can see these little holes. These are ports for some bass pounding music. So generally speakers with ports like this, what you're going to do is you're gonna put this facing off your wall, fairly close to the wall, to bounce the bass from the ports back to your little ear holes. Now let's get these set up, and of course, I will have to first measure the distance of this cable and this cable for your information. The cable separating the left and right speaker, edge of the speaker to edge of the speaker itself, is 110 centimeters or a little over three feet. Now when it comes to the USB cable, we are at 140 centimeters or 5.6 feet in length. So a decent amount of cord length for our setup. Now let's get this powered on. Let's just play a bit of music and we'll go on to our other modes in just a moment. And this music is from Audio. So if you're a content creator, feel free to look at the description and check out Audio. And this is off. I press it again. Now we also have volume control up here, which I can turn it down or turn it right up by pressing this here. That beep sound you just heard was saying it was maximum volume. And of course you can control your volume through the PC as well. And right now my volume is at 66 out of 100 on my PC. Though if I turn it way too loud, it's going of course to sort the speakers like it would any other speaker at max volume. Now let's see how that matches my computer tower. If you want to make your speakers portable, can we connect it to a battery bank? Let's find out. USB mode. It seems so. So I now have a portable speaker system and let's see what we can really do. I'm going to connect by Bluetooth. Bluetooth mode. And now I'm gonna grab my mobile phone and I'm gonna check Bluetooth devices. And let's see if we can find it. I'm gonna scroll down my phone and we can see the GQ down here. Let's see what we can do with this. And I'm gonna pair. Device paired. I'm gonna press play. You hate, but you can't and if I want to change USB mode to Bluetooth, I'll go right here. USB mode. If I want to turn off the speaker, I press right here again. And let's turn it back on. USB mode. And let's change it back to Bluetooth. Bluetooth mode. And we're going to change it to a uh... device paired. Okay, now it's paired. Let's get some music playing the RGB so we can see it nice and up close.
So how does this sound connected to Bluetooth? Let's get the speaker, the microphone closer. This is Eric of Nabaus. So what are my thoughts on the GQ M30 speakers that are playing behind me right now? All of the music you hear in this video is from these speakers. So, thoughts. There's a little bit of hiss, but that's normal for amplifying speakers. They go sufficiently loud for almost any regular person. Now, if you're looking for a pounding bass, you may indeed want a speaker system with a subwoofer. In terms of sound accuracy, it is pretty darn decent for the price point paid. You're not just paying for the RGB. Looks really sweet, and yes, we can see it right now. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of these speakers, especially for those that don't know what to expect out of this price range. Out of this price range of speakers, if you have a high-end TV, Probably won't get any better sound, but if you have an entry-level TV like I have an RCA, this is definitely better than the built-in RCA speakers that really hurt my ears with how tingy they are. This does emphasize a bit on the high pitch side of things, but the mid-range are definitely the mid-range of sound it is definitely emphasized. So that means that spoken words, so if you're watching a movie and you want to hear what they're saying, you'll definitely get emphasis on that part of the sound stage. In terms of bass, this is not going to win any awards. One other positive is these speakers go really loud for the price paid and considering the fact these are USB powered. Really no complaints on volume level. Compared to my speaking when I had these speakers turned up and I had the microphone facing the speakers, I'm sure you noticed. These go quite loud for the price point as expected made of plastic. And I want to know my long-term use case. I'll be having this connected to one of my computer systems. Just not this one because I do have studio monitor speakers that I specifically use for my video editing purposes that cost about six times more than these. This is Eric of NotBios. And if you're subscribing right now or already subscribed, you are awesome. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.